Hello and welcome to Real Science for Kids. The videos in this series are the Advanced Experiments for Level 1 Chemistry. The title of this experiment is Mix It Up. Have fun discovering real science with Rebecca. Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Keller. Today we're going to experiment with mixtures. We're just going to play with a few household items. We're going to see if they mix together. And if they don't mix, we're going to try to make a mix with soap. So let's take a look at vinegar, some ammonia, some isopropyl alcohol, some vegetable oil. And if these don't mix, we'll see if we can get them to mix with a little Castile soap. We're also going to use some food coloring so that we can see what's mixing and what isn't mixing. So let's get started. I'm going to grab one of my containers. And if you have a laboratory notebook, you can record your results in the laboratory notebook. But for now, let's just mix a few solutions and see what happens. So let's start with vinegar. Let's take a little bit of vinegar and put it in the container. Now I want to try to, I'm going to mix it with some ammonia. But in order, these, both of these liquids are clear, so I'm going to use a little food coloring. How about a little nice blue food coloring? A couple of drops of food coloring. One drop is probably plenty. Swirl it around and I get a nice blue colored vinegar. So let's see what happens when we add ammonia. Well, we get an interesting, some bubbles. And turns out that vinegar and ammonia react. So they not only mix, they react with each other. You can see that the solution is turned a little bit uh, opaque. And so that's what happens when vinegar and ammonia are added to each other. Okay, now let's try a little bit of vinegar. And how about some alcohol? So let's pour a little vinegar in the container here. And we'll add a little food coloring since both of these liquids are the same clear color. We'll add a little green food coloring. Neon green. Swirl that around. So we have some nice green vinegar. And let's add some alcohol and see if they mix. And it looks like it's all one color. I'm going to hold this up to the light and see if I can see a line between the liquids. And I can't see any line. So that tells me that vinegar and isopropyl alcohol do mix. So they mix. All right, let's try another one. How about we try ammonia and isopropyl alcohol? So let's add a little ammonia into our container. And since ammonia, this ammonia is, again, a clear liquid, let's put a little food coloring in there. Get a nice, bright purple color. Let's add a little isopropyl alcohol and see what happens. It's a nice purple color, and if I hold it up to the light, I can see that there isn't any line between the two liquids. So this tells me that this particular ammonia and this isopropyl alcohol, in fact, do mix. So they mix. Let's try something else. Let's try vegetable oil and isopropyl alcohol. Let's see if those two mix. I'm going to put a little isopropyl alcohol in my container. 
And let's add a nice color. How about this nice neon red? So that we can see this mixing. I'm gonna swirl that around. So this is isopropyl alcohol. Now let's add a little bit of vegetable oil and see if we can get them to mix. Swirl this around. And so it's looking a little different than the other three. I can see a number of little teeny uh, vegetable oil um, droplets in the liquid. And it does appear that the vegetable oil is not wanting to mix with the isopropyl alcohol. In fact, if I hold it up, I can see that there's a nice line between the two. So there's an alcohol layer on top and the vegetable oil is floated to the bottom. So the vegetable oil is not really mixing with the isopropyl alcohol. All right, let's do another one. Let's try some vinegar. And how about vegetable oil? So we'll add some food coloring to our vinegar and let's make it a nice neon green. There we go. Swirl that and we'll add a little bit of vegetable oil and see if we can make these mix. I can tell right away that the vegetable oil doesn't really want to mix with the vinegar. So I'm going to swirl it around, see if I can get it to mix. And what's happening is there are a lot of little uh, oil droplets forming, but the oil does not want to mix with the vinegar. It is coming out. You can see that there's oil droplets at the layer between the vinegar and the oil. And if I lift this up, I can see that there are um, oil droplets in between the vinegar and oil layer. The vinegar has stayed on the bottom. And They are definitely not mixing. So vinegar and oil do not mix. I wanted to point out an interesting observation that I uh, made with the ammonia and rubbing alcohol. The last time I did this experiment, the ammonia and rubbing alcohol did not mix. And so this was a curious observation for me. And I think that there was something different about the ammonia. So if I look at the ammonia, I see that this is sudsy ammonia, and it's not just regular ammonia. So that tells me that the soap is playing a role in helping the ammonia and rubbing alcohol mix. So let's see if we can do a little uh, test with some soap to see if we can get maybe one of these that didn't mix, maybe the vinegar and oil that didn't mix. Let's add a little bit of soap and see if we can get it to mix, okay? So we're going to take a little soap and add just a little bit of soap to the mixture. And you can see already it's doing something different. I'm going to swirl it around and I'm getting an interesting mixture. If I swirl it and keep swirling it have to mix it pretty good. There's still some oil that doesn't want to mix. It looks like it's trying to mix. In fact, it looks a little bit more mixed than it did before. But it's not completely mixed yet. I can still see a top layer. But it does look like the soap is doing something. So it turns out that soap can help liquids like vinegar and oil mix that wouldn't normally mix. And so it's really a lot of fun to play with uh, different household solutions and find out whether or not they mix. You can always use some food coloring so that you can see the different liquids a little bit better. 
So join me next time and we'll do another fun experiment. Discovering Real Science with Rebecca is presented by Gravitas Publications Incorporated in collaboration with Burt Johnson Video Productions. Put video on your business website by visiting webbizvideos.com. We're not quite finished and you know why. So soap can help things like, I don't like to use the word things. So soap can help, um, okay, bleep, bleep, bleep. so soap, soap is really important. It cleans the dirt off your toes. Hey!